Boom. Boom. Hey everybody. Um, I hope y'all are doing well today. Today's take two review will be a um, TV movie from the 1980s. And I know if you're of a younger age, you probably go, what in the fuck's a TV movie? Back when there were less channels, uh, the big TV networks actually made movies to show, um, you know, usually on the weekend or sometimes they would do mini series and stuff like that. And some of them were god awful, some of them were mediocre, and some of them were very good. And the one I'm going to talk about was very good. Uh, so good that it scarred many people. Uh, many people in Britain, in the UK, that is. Uh, the name of the movie is Threads, uh, and it's about the threads that bind everything together, kind of like the spider web of life. There's a little montage at the first of the movie with, um, you know, insects and just different things, just showing how everything's tied together. But the movie itself follows a woman named Ruth. Um, shows everybody's like day-to-day -day mundane boring life um, but you keep hearing chatter about you know so I can't remember the countries I think it's Iran is going to nuke um, the UK for helping so you know just they had to come up with some conflict to cause a nuclear war to happen and, um, anyways, the first probably quarter of the movie is pre-apocalypse. Things just building up and things going on. And like Ruth, she ends up uh, getting pregnant by her boyfriend. And then uh, they end up getting married. And anyways, after the bombs fall... It just shows how all the threads of the world just unravel and things fall apart. It's very bleak. It's not not a movie that I would watch if I had any um, suicidal problems because that's how bleak it is. And it follows Ruth for a long, long, long time. Like, 20 years or so after the bombs she even has a daughter of her own and by the end of things uh, they're back to the middle ages in the the way the world is for them just barely scraping by just barely surviving it's is it perfect no um, it has the limitations of a TV movie from 1984 is it fast-paced no but that allows for a lot of storylines to play out and I, I think um, makes for a very interesting film if you don't like post-apocalyptic movies or just anything like that you probably won't be interested um, if you want to see the, the the mindset, especially if you were born after the Berlin Wall fell. If you want to see the mindset of people before the Berlin Wall, as of you know, well, why do people smoke or drink like they did? Well, you never knew if you had tomorrow. That's really why I think a lot of people did the way they did. Anyways, I'm going to try. To include the slip cover uh, for the Severn edition that I have, and you see it as the intro to this. Um, this is the cover, though, for just a regular DVD. But the slip cover's got a cool little effect on it. Uh, if you want the definitive edition, that would be the Severn uh, Blu-ray and/or DVD. It's really good and got some really good extra features. I hope y'all enjoy. 
and uh, see y'all next week. I'll have a where I'm switching in between old and new movies. I'll have the uh, something new. I got that. Uh, I've seen the new it already, but I also got that new. Uh, but I've got it, <laughs> and uh, I got that new Tarantino. So I'll probably do a review of that Tarantino. Uh, anyways, we'll see y'all then, and we'll see you again for another video on. Um,